It would look better, but I wouldn't know how to make you feel better. Hey. Is that it? You what? It might not look like much to you. You're right there. Where's Vic? He told me I was opening a deluxe local sports centre. I said when I left the street that um, that I'd, I'd always live in the shadow of Raquel, and I'm, I'm more than happy to do so because I love the character, and she was a very popular character within the show. I don't think you, you ever fully complete the transition when you leave the soap. You have to, uh, you're constantly working at it. It wasn't, it wasn't really the intention to um, sort of move into specific uh, areas, as in, you know, have to do a situation comedy, have to do a drama or whatever. I just really um, was lucky in a lot of the work that I've been offered since since I left the street. You have to work extra hard to keep your standards high and, I, and luckily Sarah thinks the same way so we've I hope we've delivered a product that's as good if not better than the first series. <laughs> oh it looks a laugh. <laughs> it is. Huh? Up to our knees in muck and bullets we yeah. love it. Where's that all filmed? Uh, round Huddersfield around that area that was in a little town called Slaithwaite pronounced Slowit. Really? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm amazed at seeing you there um, earlier, well, I don't know when you filmed it, last year, whatever it is, a lot of people will be familiar with uh, a movie and a video called Matilda, in which Pam plays the marvellous, horrible Miss Trunchbull with yeah. Danny DeVito, and you were absolutely superb in oh, this. Damon, thank th you. You were, you were really super, I mean, it's a, it, whether it's a kid's movie or whatever, adults ju will just, just love it. And the thing is, I thought, well, this is you, this is the big time, this is the movies in America, and there you are, back up in, in where? Slate? Uh, slate, slate, wait, yeah, slow it, slow it, slow yeah. it. Yeah, yes, it's a bit different. You know, we were shooting in 106 degrees in Los Angeles and I had to have a cool suit on to keep me from <laughs> passing out. And we don't need that in Slough It. We just need some mud, mud guards and flaps on our feet. So why do you do it? Because it's my job. I love it. Mm. I love acting. I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy the, the whole process of working with a big crew and the challenge of, of making programmes and telling good stories. Uh, and what is the strength? Is good story the strength of where the heart is? Oh, uh, the writing has to come first. I mean, with Matilda, it was obvious you had Roald Dahl behind it. It couldn't fail. Mm. Um, and here we've got Ashley Farrow, and he's pretty darn good. He's, mm. a, he's a clever man. Talking about behind you, mm -hmm. both with Sarah and with you, you've got these characters that everybody identifies mm -hmm. you with. You, Ma Larkin in mm -hmm. Darling Buds of May, and Sarah with Raquel in Coronation right. Street. Both of you. First, first of all, Sarah, and then we'll talk about you. Right. Has she put Raquel behind her, do you think? I think the public are going to have to let her put Raquel behind her because she's too good an actress. Mm -hmm. uh, this is often the problem when you do a very believable character. People think that's you. Mm -hmm. And you have to take that as a compliment. Um, but I ain't Mar Larkin and Sarah's not Raquel. You know, she's, she's worth a lot more than that. She's a good actress. Of course she is. A uh, ni nice lady as well. What a lot of people don't know, of course, mm -hmm. is that you two fall out in the series <laughs> uh, this time round. Yeah. Yes. And what we've got here is a little sneak preview of that. Oh, we're sorry to hear about it. We went to see him. Oh, is he? He's absolutely fine. Except he's going to be in a wheelchair. <sighs> it's only for a week or so. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Well, no, it's not. Simon has got to learn that he is not the only one in the world. Well, of course, he knows that, but he has been under no, a lot it's of pressure. It's normal for you to defend him. I am not defending him. But when you know facts... I know what facts! My brother is a selfish man. Fact! You're his wife and you're defending him. Fact! And Vic shouldn't have been standing on that machine. Fact! Mm. Mm. Nasties. And if you want to follow the storyline uh, Sunday night, 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock Sunday evening. On ITV. And I see all that business of being a district nurse and whatever, getting <laughs> yes. to tootle about in a, in a wee car, whatever it is. What, it. what sort of life is it uh, well, as a district nurse? Do you I, think? Get off, I get a lot of people asking for private blanket baths and things like that. <laughs> you know. it's, it's, uh, I'm taking orders now, Eamon, <laughs> if you're interested. <laughs> you were telling me you're here in your summer frock today. That's where's my gardening well. frock. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, it, can I touch you, incidentally, here? Uh, nothing. Where? I, well, I just simply want to point out to people, it's amazing little designs all over this set, dress of Pam's here. Down, We've got... Um, oh, the other one <laughs> is, yes. The other one watering is pans, pot. flower pots, whatever. This is your gardening dress. This is my the, gardening dress. It's summer. a wishful spring. Oh, I have lovely. my rallies here from Australia, and look at it, snowing in oh, April. I know. I know. It's outrageous. Well, that's lovely. You put us in the mood for looking ahead to the summer. Pam, lovely talking my to you. Pleasure. Continued success with everything you do, and thanks, thanks for coming in. My great pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.
Thank you. Talking of gardening, our lady Pamela Aldworth from York is phoning morning, Pamela, saying that it's Primrose Day on Sunday, is apparently, it? yeah, which um, refers back to the fact that Disraeli put primroses on the grave of Queen Victoria and was the only commoner to put flowers on her grave. I didn't is that know right? that. Yeah, apparently so. We're talking about colours, Pam was telling me she's painted her bedroom the colour of your... Uh, no, your, your, your kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah, no, my bedroom, my bedroom's becoming this colour slowly. Chelsea blue, it's the end mm. colour.